Welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV, where we bring you the latest. Here's what we have in the news today. Um, in April of 2020, the Finance Minister received the FSC report on SSL, but did nothing. are the details in april 2020 the finance minister received the fsc report on ssl but he was never made aware of it according to him dr nigel clark the minister of finance has revealed that his office received a report from the financial services commission in april 2020 on the fraudulent stocks and securities limited but he claimed that he was never made aware of it now, this is my question. No one brought this very important information to Nigel Clark's attention. Now that 2023 has come, who would know about Bull's money loss if he had not found out or if he wasn't a very important person? According to the FSC laws, the agency must audit the operations of the entities it oversees at least once Per year and then submit a report to the minister within 90 days. The SSL report dated June 25, 2019 was discovered during a check of Dr. Clark's office on Tuesday. According to him, it was transmitted by the FSC on April 3, 2020 and acknowledged as received by his office on April 15, 2020 to the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service. The document was created after an SSL on-site inspection in June 2019. A 2019 coincidence, and this is my opinion, that the Prime Minister withdrew his money. Is it good luck? Or was he aware in 2019 of the discrepancies and then withdrew his money? It's like it's a coincidence that he pulled out in 2019. The discrepancies was found in 2019 and nobody said anything about it. The finance minister claimed that despite there being violations, warranting a meeting between the FSC and the SSL board to discuss liquidity difficulties at SSL. The report omitted a history of the FSC regulatory measures against SSL. The research also recommended that SSL be supplied right away with regulatory instructions in order to have the problems fixed quickly. A minimum of 40 investors have been defrauded in a claimed fraud scheme at the financial institution involving perhaps billions of Jamaican dollars. Dr. Clark claimed that the agency's board had carried out the suggestions made in the Financial Services Commission's 2019 report on Stocks and Securities Limited almost six months before his office received a copy of the report. He pointed out that SSL was given the recommendations and authorized directions on October 25th, 2019. He said that in terms of both scopes and complexity, the FSC board directives were more broad than those suggested in the report. The only one thing that a lot of people with that will bring question to people's minds is that the prime minister had given a speech and a very firm and strong speech saying that he has pulled out all his stocks in 2019 and he has no business with the SSL since 2019. The discrepancies were found out in 2019. Guys, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I'm on the road to 2,000 subscriptions. So kindly subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos. And I will see you back here on my next YouTube video.